Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for June 26 through to June 30. A rapidly developing coronal hole formation, which is currently unnumbered in the northern hemisphere of the solar corona, represents a potential of a 6.7 magnitude earthquake for this watch. We're now looking at the latest coronal hole information via solon.info, where we see this very large coronal hole formation in the northern hemisphere, which has developed quite rapidly over the last 24 hours. Now this is a very strong coronal hole formation which is currently unnumbered but I feel harbors a potential of one or two significant earthquakes at around 6.7 magnitude. Now the main areas of focus is this very long lateral region and that's at high latitudes at around 44 degrees north latitude and there's also another area of note and that's at the rear flank which I'm also targeting for this video. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE where we see current conditions are classified as quiet with solar wind speeds flatlining at 365 kilometers per second. Now we should see over the next 24 to 36 hours a rapid increase in solar winds due to the high speed solar wind stream coming from this unnumbered coronal hole formation and it should see solar winds move to around 500 kilometers a second and this should give a green light to some strong earthquake potential as this high speed solar wind stream buffets the Earth's magnetic field. And currently we're starting to see an increase in solar wind density where we are seeing levels at around 10 protons per cubic centimeter. We're now looking at the latest VSL animated forecast map and from these images we get to see this large coronal hole formation should become geo-effective towards the end of this watch, June 29 to June 30. Now it's also worth noting we do have the emergence of an extremely large coronal hole formation which has done a full rotation of the sun and it's already numbered to CH521 and it's just rotating the eastern limb as we speak. This is definitely worth keeping a close note of as this will be earth facing in around June 29 to June 30 time frame as well. We're now looking at this large coronal hole formation in a series of filter ranges where we see the main area of focus I feel is the leading edge of this coronal hole and also the rear flank as there are some very deep characteristics which may be indicative of some strong earthquake potential for this watch. Now isolating this large coronal hole formation into two separate zones and plotting and mapping this to the earth with the main area of focus being 43 to 46 degrees north latitude or the leading edge and the rear flank being 35 to 39 degrees north latitude. This long lateral feature of this coronal hole formation is positioned at 44 degrees north latitude of the solar corona and this may be an indication of another strong aftershock for the northern Italy region on the initial part of this watch, June 26 to June 28, which is a concern. Other regions that may be affected are Bulgaria or Romania. Now my final area of concern is for the west coast of North America, more specifically off the coast of Oregon region, and this area does have some strong solar symmetry. Now I'm going to target the rear flank of this coronal hole for a potential 6.7 magnitude earthquake, and I have isolated 35 to 39 degrees north latitude as a main area of focus. Now I'm going to plot a map some regions I feel will be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the earth. And my number one area of concern is for Japan, more specifically, near the east coast of Honshu, Japan, will be the main area of concern for this watch. And my second area of concern is for Europe, more specifically the regions of Greece or western Turkey. And my final area of concern is for Tajikistan, the Hindu Kush region, Afghanistan, and adjacent to southern Zhejiang, China. Now it is worth noting that there may be a strong shake for the New Zealand region based on a rapidly forming coronal feature on the solar corona and this may be a strong shake over the next day or two which is definitely worth keeping a close track of. We're now looking at the latest outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that may be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures and the areas we're focusing on are shaded in darkish green. Now the main readings showing up for this week are west of Taiwan, Kyushu, Japan, we have a strong reading showing up in Hawaii, also in Guatemala, and also Haiti has a very large reading for this week. There's also a strong reading showing up in central India. These will be the main areas of concern in terms of outgoing long wave radiation anomalies for this week. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for June 24, 2012. And for more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net where we'll be providing more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.